do you like exterminating filthy ground people who walk everywhere they go using their human legs rather than flying in a chopper like a cool person? Are you sick and tired of the feeble missiles they fire into the air in a vain attempt at defending themselves? If so, then this is the video for you. Today we're going to look at the various missiles that can prevent you and your nightbird from cleansing the battlefield of degenerate scum. The first missiles we will look at are those that come from the Bolt's missile launcher. These are very fast moving but aren't very manoeuvrable so they're very easy to dodge. Also, they don't do that much damage even if they hit you with the full volley. And I should point out that the warning indicator you get is softer sounding than the indicator you get for the more dangerous missiles. So you can use that to judge when you should be using your flares or not. They have control. Sundance's anti-armour grenades can lock onto choppers and follow them through the air. They're very slow though, so you can easily dodge or outrun them. The main thing is to not panic and use your flares by accident. You should note that the lock-on warning for them is also quite soft sounding, as I will show you here. Now, on to the bane of my existence and the single greatest threat to all nightbirds, the handheld AA missile launcher. The missiles that this thing fires are very accurate and very manoeuvrable. Even if they initially miss or overshoot, they tend to circle round and hit you anyway. The handheld AA does actually miss sometimes, even without using cover, as you can see here. It's very, very rare that it misses though. The vast majority of the time, the missiles can't really be dodged. As you can see, it can spiral around you, even if it misses. It's these that you really want to save your flares for. The best way to avoid them is to just break the lock by using cover such as a building or cargo containers. It's also a good idea to fly low as that makes it easier to break locks and it limits the number of people that can see you and potentially lock on to you. Here I'm using the rocket to break line of sight with whoever is wanting to lock on to me. It's best to fight in areas where there's lots of cover. If 
if you fly next to a building or a wall, then that will cause any missiles that overshoot to hit the wall rather than circling back on you. If you're quick and get behind cover, you can force incoming missiles to hit the cover rather than you, but keep in mind the missiles are quite good at following you around corners, so you normally need a good head start on it. As soon as you hear the high-pitched siren, which corresponds to the more dangerous anti-air weapons, that means you should be looking for cover or at least taking manoeuvres. Some areas give you extremely good cover against lock-ons. For example here, I can use the stadium roof to break any lock from the people on the ground. Now, an issue with flying low and using cover is that it does make you more vulnerable to the recoilless, which will one-shot you. The best way of limiting your exposure to it is to fly fast and be a bit unpredictable. I should also mention that if you're being so fammed, this will allow anyone with a recoilless or any other unguided missile to lock in on you directly. This is very dangerous because not only will they one-shot you, They'll also fly directly to you, and so you won't have much warning to use your flares. The Wildcat, the Attack Choppers and the Jets all have their own anti-air missiles. However, they're not very manoeuvrable and they're generally quite easy to dodge as long as you're not staying still or flying in a straight line. The Jet's anti-air missiles in particular are very easy to avoid. The safest way of avoiding an attack chopper's anti-air missiles is to fly low around cover as they will generally overshoot and hit the cover rather than you. In fact, if you can see the attack chopper's missiles coming, you can often just wiggle out of the way. The anti-air missiles that are fired by the Wildcat are also quite easy to dodge just by moving fast. Anyway, that's all for now. Good day, everyone.